You're watching the Black Wonder Channel, where we discuss current events, geopolitics, and much more. <sighs> we got to talk about it, and we got to go back to Florida, y'all. In another move Tuesday, DeSantis signed a mandate for uh, Asian Americans and Pacific Islander history to be in K through 12 curriculum. Governor Ron DeSantis has signed a bill that mandates the inclusion of Asian American and Pacific Islander history in states K through 12 curriculum. And there would be nothing wrong with this whatsoever. I mean, I want people to learn the history. If DeSantis was willing to give the same respect to the black, to black history. And we all know how he feels about that. This headline from February of this year, Ron DeSantis is erasing black history from Florida schools. The governor opened Black History Month by announcing plans to ban funding for diversity programs at state colleges. Please be patient with me because there's so much here. I think the quick answer is that Asian Americans are given white privilege, especially the Asian Americans who fit the model minority stereotype. The quid pro quo for receiving that privilege is upholding white supremacy culture, which means being anti-black. Ms. Renee said, what is AAPI? That is the Asian American Pacific Islanders. Now, when you think about this, this description, if you switch all of this around and you mentioned stuff about specifically what happened to black people, Ron the Snowflake would call it woke. By his own standards of woke, quote unquote, wouldn't this fall under that category? So I wonder if they're going to teach this, right? The overthrow of Hawaiian Kingdom was a coup d'etat against Queen Lily Ukalani, which took place on January 17th of 1893 on the island of Ahu and led by the Committee of Safety composed by seven foreign residents and six Hawaiian Kingdom subjects of American descent in Honolulu. The committee prevailed upon American Minister John L. Stevenson to call in the United States Marines to protect the interests of the United States of America. The insurgents established the Republic of Hawaii, but their ultimate goal was the annexation of the islands to the United States, which occurred in 1898. The 1993 Apology Resolution by the United States Congress concedes that the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii occurred with the active participation of agents and citizens of the United States and the native Hawaiian people never directly relinquished to the United States their claims to their inherent sovereignty as a people over their national lands, either through the Kingdom of Hawaii or through a plebiscite or referendum. This spits in the face of every black uh, Floridian, especially when we see so many tactics by this man to show black people, I don't want you here. You are not a part of the people I'm trying to protect. Florida is not safe for black people. AAPI history, definitely teach it, teach it. Teach African American or black history as well. Teach the history of this country, period. Straight up, but this is divide and conquer. Don't y'all fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Please don't do it. That's why black people, you got to teach your own history. We have to teach our own history. Thank you for watching the Black Wonder channel. If you found value in our content, please like, subscribe, and share.